tomorrow next is going to be released into the game and we are going to do it as a team and to prepare I am going to fish. Okay, not only fish, but I'm going to do farm runs, meanwhile just AFK and Barbarian fishing, because I need to get some total levels. We are so close to the front page, and I need to do some AFK anyway, so I thought getting some fishing levels might be a good thing to AFK, and do the herb runs for Snapdragons, and maybe Raynars for the restores and prey potions that we will need for next. Meanwhile, I am doing fishing up to 69 fishing and this is also going to be another level which is going to be 71 herb lore for the team another total level for the scoreboard next should be coming out in around an hour and i got the ecumenical keys i don't have the diaries to get more than three but it should be enough they do work for next by the way so i'm just going to get some total levels here i have a couple of skills that are very close like 152 runecrafting 5k agility 20k mining is kind of close, I suppose, and fletching, I can get some darts. 70 fletching and 57 runecrafting at the same time, let's get it. 70 fletching, runecraft, and that is 57 runecrafting, which means we are now 1770 total. So five more and that will broadcast. And there it is, 25 minutes until next release. But uh, let's have a look at the high scores. Look at that. We are now on the front page, ranked 20, and we are pretty close to being able to be like top 15 or something. If we all just work on total levels for a bit, we can get there pretty easily. So that is nice to see. I think the gear setups I might try is first the full crystal armor with the bow for Adinan, but they did say that crossbows are going to be pretty good at next. So I might have to go with this setup, which is definitely a lot worse when it comes to DPS. Most likely, I mean, we don't know really. But uh, we will try first with the bow of Ferradinen, for me at least. And if that doesn't work, it's too bad, I take too much damage, or it's just bad DPS, then I guess this is the setup I'm going to go with. There, there's... <laughs> it is so stacked with people here, holy... Jesus. Oh, wow! <laughs> I'm looking at your stream. Yeah, oh my oh, god. You said nine, you've got like... <laughs> <laughs> it's like literally all max people as well, just chilling with full armadillo. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm right. just going in there talking to her. Yes, and don't so ask again. Now. Run! Oh, there's, it, it, I have the advantage of other people tanking the minions for me, so we're good. Oh, it's trying to barrage me. I'm tanking everything. Oh, don't auto-retaliate, please. Okay, I'm in the next room. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. You can just look at this counter here, like the scoreboard, and it just keeps going up the... It. Yeah, no, it, yeah, no kills. And there's 30 global deaths, and if you click it again, it goes up all the time. Oh, there is a kill now, 313. Yeah, 313, that's fast. Yeah, but that's probably in like a, you know, 25 person mass or something, you know, it's like so yeah, many people right, here. Yeah. You might have already seen on my channel that I already posted a video about Nex and that was on my main account. That is because unfortunately, after talking with the team for quite a while, we decided to not do Nex on release on the group Iron Man because there are no empty sessions basically every single area has like 50 people in them and it is impossible to find an empty world and if we would hit the boss with our group iron man we would lose the stars beside our name which is the prestige which is something most of my teammates wanted to keep and it would be kind of useless to just uh, remove it for one day of doing next if you wait like a week we can do it as a team with only us five and that is better for the team anyways in terms of drops but what i want to do instead is I want to try to kill some of the creatures in here and see what the loot from them is like. I just killed a Blood Reaver because I looked at the drop rate of items and they seem to be actually even better than the spiritual creatures. I might try to kill these, but look what I got. I got a Blood Essence and look at that. It says it's worth 2 million. This is actually used to make blood runes and you get more blood runes when you use it uh, somehow. But uh, if it's 2 million as the base price, it has to be kind of rare. But uh, also on top of that, uh, the ancient ceremonial pieces can drop from the Blood Reavers. So it's a bit more interesting of a drop table. Oh my god, another Blood Essence very shortly after, like 15 kills. It is actually only a 1 in 128. So it is probably going to crash a lot from 2 million, but uh, yeah, interesting.
So I did click on it as you saw in the last clip and it says you have 1000 charges on it when it's active. So I guess if I craft 1000 blood runes now it has the chance of duplicating them I believe. Bit random maybe but a pretty big milestone this is going to be 90 ranged on the group Iron Man. That's going to be nice for next or any future ranging that I'm going to do which is obviously quite a lot now that I have the uh, bow for Adinan. That is what I was actually looking for. The ancient ceremonial item, it is purely a cosmetic item, but it is very cool to have. I'm very happy I got the top actually, look how nice this looks. The drop rate is 1 in 640 for each piece individually, so getting one of the items is 1 in 128, so it's not very rare, but it can take a while to get the full set, you know, but I'm very happy I got the chest, it's very nice. If I get the legs and the helmet, I'm pretty much done with the set, I don't really care about the gloves and the boots. I actually finished the entire Slayer task I had on the Spiritual Rangers, and that is actually the monster I got to the top on, but I think I'm going to be happy here. You can see my kill count, I've killed quite a lot of creatures in here. I will probably go back for every Spiritual Creature task and kill the Rangers, and uh, hopefully in the future get the full ceremonial outfit, because I think it looks so good. But now I am going to work on something else. If you're wondering what the overall drops from the creatures are, here they are, 151 blood reavers for all of this, the prayer potions being the notable interesting drops and the rain arts and snapdragons, and I did kill some mages on my main account and I will definitely kill these over the rangers in the future, because they drop the super restores 3 dose quite frequently, which is very nice for Iron Man. So my team has been working a lot on killing the wilderness bosses, the crazy archaeologist, chaos fanatic and scorpia to try to get odium wards which is going to be very useful for next when we do it 5 man. And if I go into the group storage here you can see we have 8 malediction shards too and I will put a picture on the screen right now of the odium shards that they got as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and solo some Chaos Fanatic. It is the most annoying boss to get the shards from. And hopefully we can get some Odium Shards. The Malediction Shards we don't really need. But the Odium Shards is definitely what we want. I am now actually 107 Chaos Fanatic kills in. And I have not got anything yet. The reason why I'm standing here is because I got PK'd like 3 times. I did not die a single time. But all of those PKs happen in like the last 10 minutes and I was offered now to come raid with a team. So I'm going to take a break from this and do that. And then it's back to the Chaos Fanatic. Here we go, this is the purple. Survive. I have white. No TV. white. Oh. oh, I got a dark relic. Oh, oh nice. nice. I got the some Torstones and Snapdragons. Yeah. Well, how oh. many deaths was that? Like I eight, ancient nine? Tablet. Is that what you're oh, about? yeah, now you can teleport to the raid on Serik's nice. Talisman if you apply it to it. I'm super stored up, you're hitting. <clears throat> Last minute 20 throw. HP, 50k point raid, nice. Nice. White oh. light is bad. Okay. Damn. But it looked one hour and 11 minutes though. That's, That's an uh, improvement, 20 minutes faster. Yeah, that was a huge improvement. And we wasn't able, like, we had to do all the prep without making yeah. any progress at Pre the same pretty time. much all the deaths as well was in the last phase on in all dynamite lol plus i only died what twice yeah so... i died once yeah once me I, as well i i didn't die a single time but because duggan alone and everyone basically i collected the last craps from the floor and <laughs> yeah. kept me alive and we're back to the Chaos Fanatic, and that is a Malediction Shard, I think like 190 kills in, something like that. But that is not the shard we want. But it's not bad, because we have all the other Malediction Shards, so that is a completed shield. Well, 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 this is very interesting to see. Jagex actually tweeted out that they have made it possible for people to create their own next sessions. Which is going to be very essential for Group Iron Man if they do not want to lose their prestige. But it has a very high requirement, you have to complete the hard combat achievements. And I am of course the person with the most combat achievements completed. I have the full easy one, half the medium and not really but close to half the hard one. So it is actually something I want to start working on. It is some very fun challenges to do. I think I can complete the entire medium one whenever I want to, I have all the requirements. But the hard one is going to be a big grind, so it is a long-term goal I want to work on. For example, you can see it requires Abyssal Sire, as well as later down here you need Kraken, I think, there we go. And that is of course 87 Slayer. 
So it's going to require a lot of Slayer, but I am going to work on these golds passively. Actually, I'm really looking forward to it because I love doing combat and it is a nice excuse to work towards it. So yeah, that is going to be something I will work on. I do want to note that even if it takes so long for me to complete the achievement diaries that basically there is a very easy to find worlds. As I said, it is still possible that other people would crash us in the session. And if a group comes into our session, we just have to straight up leave because of how the prestige system works. If any of uh, the normal accounts help us, we're going to lose it. So it is nice to have sessions, even if there are a lot of empty ones. But that is 300 KC on the Chaos Fanatic, no Odium Shard overall from any of those kills. But now I'm going to stop and I will get back here in the future. But now it's time for some combat achievements. I'm going to start with the medium diary and there are two barrels tasks I can do that should be fairly easy. The first one is you cannot get hit a single time from Darox, Verax, Torax and Guthans. Even if you get hit a zero that does count. And the second one is kill all of the brothers without taking any damage. And that is basically just prey. So that should be easy. I'm surprised I don't already have it honestly. I feel like clicking on the chest is the most scary part about the uh, not getting hit achievement because it could spawn and literally just hit you right away I feel like so let's see how this goes. Have to run and hopefully it doesn't hit me. There we go so should be fine now. Unfortunately I did actually get hit once by Torag so that was unfortunate but uh, I did not get damaged by any of them so this should actually still be an achievement so let's see what we get and if we get it. And that is the pray for success achievement only one more to go. Another failed attempt, but can we get something nice? We cannot. Now I'm going to assume that the easiest way of doing this is just barraging it, but I don't have 94 magic and the imbued heart is currently not in the storage and I don't have it. So this is how I did it. I just uh, clicked on the tomb and tangled it and then I placed myself in a good spot where I can line of sight on the tomb when the entangle is about to run out. So I'm doing that right now, just waiting for it to remove. And after this you can't untangle for like a few seconds, so I just wait, place myself a bit further back, and then I untangle it again, and I attack it, and I just repeat this until it's dead. I think this is the third attempt, and I hope that I actually completed it. I don't think I got hit any times, so let's search it. And uh, that is the achievement done. Nice, that should be everything for Barrows. The next one is Demonic Weakening, which is kill Scotisa with no altars active. Should not be too much of a big deal, but it does have quite high stakes. I only have a one totem. So if I do fail this, I have to grind an entire new totem. So let's hopefully pray that I actually do this on the first attempt. And that is the Demonic Awakening, did do it on the first attempt, it was quite nerve-wracking honestly, but uh, Mahogany Planks as a drop is not bad construction experience as well. So for the next two I'm going to do both of the Briar Fighter ones, I already have all the keys, I just collected them real quick, I already have two kill counts and this one is five times, so that is just use all the keys. And this one is very easy, kill all the three minions within three seconds of the first one dying, get all of them to low HP and then just use an axe on them real quick. All the minions are 1 HP now, or 0 HP. Now let's change this actually to you, so I can do it real quick. So let's save and let's use the axe real quick on these. Should be fine to do it in 3 seconds. Yeah, there we go. Quick cutter. That was very easy to do. And there it is. That is the 5th kill. Should be the achievement done. Champion. And that is actually all of the achievements on this boss overall done. Which is very nice to see if I go all the way up here. It is now green. I think that's the first green I have. Oh, I have Winter Todd and Solcano as well, I guess. And after that, I thought I might do Obor. And look at this. I did uh, 76 kills for 3 keys, which is all the keys I need. I did not pick that up. But yeah, the drop rate is 1 in 60, so very lucky. Have to do 5 kills. That is very easy. This is the other one, which is kill Obor without taking any damage off prayer. My decision was basically just go with melee and have as much ranged defense as possible with the crystal shield, ring of suffering and all this. And then I'm just going to pray melee and hope that I don't take any damage. I think that's it. I don't think I took any damage off prayer at least. And that is squashing the giant. So I did do it and I got another key actually. So that's pretty nice. And of course, that is the 5 kills as well, so now Obor should be green as well on my combat achievements. Let's have a look at it. Go to bosses, and there it is. Another very easy task is just 50 deranged archaeologists, so now that is done. 
Another 50 kill task, which is the giant mole. I already had 47 from doing some slayers, so that was literally only 3 kills. A medium task where you have to kill Dagonoth Rex when he is entangled or immobilized in general. So I guess Ice Burst, Ice Brush, stuff like that works as well. Get him to low HP. Let's use the entangle. And now if I hit him here, I think he should die. That should be the combat achievement done. Yep, there we go. Look at this, I'm starting to get really close to done with the medium diary, but uh, I do have a pretty big one now, which is actually the Sarachnis one down here. I have to do 50 kills and my current kill count is 10, so I will have to do 40 kills. It's going to take a while, but it actually is pretty good because it drops a lot of red spider eggs and we do need them right now for the team. And that took two kills, and I have 100 red spider eggs. Uh, you have to have a knife, and you use it on this, and you get 100 red spider eggs. So, very nice. Well, randomly while killing the boss, I also got a hard task. Honestly, I think that is the one where you don't allow the boss to shoot more than one ranged hit per time. So, nice. That's going to be good to have done for the future. Definitely not as bad as I thought it would be. This is going to be kill number 50, if I can get a hit in. There we go. That's going to be the Sarachnis Champion or Adept, whatever it's called, the Champion, there it is. And the loot is actually not bad. I got 400 red spider eggs and 3 grubby keys, being the notable drops, and some decent alks. There's only 5 tasks left, and the brutal black dragon one, I can literally just eat a wild pie, and I can kill it with 77 slayer requirements, so that is very easy. And the last ones are all the king black dragon ones, one is to kill it with a stab weapon, one is to kill it with anti-fire po potion and anti-dragon shield, which is also very easy, I can do both of them. And this one is protect from melee, I can do all of these three in one kill, but then the last one is 50 kills. So my setup for all the three ones at once is this one. I think the best stab weapon we have is a leaf bladed sword, and then I have the anti-fire potion and the dragon fire shield, or anti-dragon shield rather. So yeah, let's go and get all those three at once. And this was a very slow kill, but it is going to be three achievements done here when I do get the hit. There we go, that's the first achievement, and hopefully I get the two other ones here. Yes, there we go, anti-fire protection and claw clipper. That was a very slow kill. Now I'm going to get my bow for in, and because I am not going to do another 39 kills with this setup. Dovidas was kind enough to help me out to get the KC as a duo, made it a lot more chill, and that is the King Black Dragon champion completed. I do have a wild pie in the bank, so let's go and complete the medium achievements. Here we go, this is the last combat achievement to complete the entire medium one. Let's see the pop-up and also in the chat. There is the broadcast, also some uh, rune plate legs, nice alk. Yeah, let's go and get our reward. I am here to talk about the combat achievements. Let's uh, get the upgraded items. I think I've completed a combat tier. And that is the medium one completed. The XP lamp and the upgraded Gomal's Hilt. Which now can teleport me to Trollheim or to the Godwars dungeon five times a day instead of three. And if I complete the hard one, it is actually infinite. So that is pretty nice. And the XP lamp, of course, is going into Herblore for 10,000 experience. Let's see how this looks. Fits with my crystal armor. Now with that done, it is the hard diary we are moving forward to, and you can see I've already done some of them, but the by far hardest requirements here is actually the Kraken one, I think I talked about that earlier. All the other ones are pretty easy to do, and uh, this Kraken one requires 87 Slayer. So that is quite a requirement from 76, but it is something I'm going to be working on in the next videos, doing a lot of Slayer, grinding it out, trying to get it completed, and otherwise in this, this is not too hard. There are some ones, like uh, up here, there is going to be 50 Calphite Queen, that's going to be uh, quite annoying to do, but not really hard. Same thing with the Grotesque Guardians, like 100 kills, also not too hard, I might do that if I get a Gargoyle task. So we have some very interesting things ahead of us. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, remember to leave a like, subscribe if you want to see future content. And until next time, guys, take care.